Clipjump is a video editing software, but it's part of Microsoft right now. But I recently found out that they have this text to speech service likewise, which I find rather intriguing and very simple and very easy to use. I've done some review or some text to speech services in the past, and I'm talking about services like Morph AI, which allows you to text to speech services for some few, like 10 minutes or thereabout. We have something like that here, likewise, and I'm quickly going to, in some few minutes, I will take you on a step by step basis on how to do it. So, to get to this page, you just go to clipcharm.com. That's going to bring you directly to the home page. So, once you get to the home page, you have to create an account. It's very easy and simple. I'll just walk it through the one step process right now to create an account on Clipcharm. But before we try it for free, Let's look at the prices. Look at Clip Jump here, right here. So there are two price plans, and it says it's free and then the premium plan. So the free plan is for beginners, while the premium plan is for everyday editors. But majorly, the free plan has a whole lot of things that are available inside of the premium plans. Mostly, when we look at the issue of export, the only difference is the fact that you can only export in 1080p HD in the free plan. But in the premium plan, you can export as high as 4K UHD. That is basically what it is. And I found that I see that as being very, very great. Comparing the two plans, you can compare them based on watermarking, export resolution, and a whole lot of stuff. And everything is basically... Let's just quickly go to sign up. So if you want to sign up on this platform, you just come to try for free you have the option to sign in with your microsoft account your email account or your google account but for the purpose of this video i would be signing in with my own google account so i'm going to quickly sign in with my google account and i am i'll see you inside the dashboard my account is created already i'm inside the dashboard of my clipchamp account so this is basically what you see you have a lot of templates for video slideshows and a host of things I can even see an option here which says you ha you can create a video with AI. I see that as being amazing also. Maybe I'll try that out later. Not so for you to use the text to speech services, you just come down and then you go to create a new video. So once you do that, that will bring you to the video editor timeline. On a video editor timeline like this, you have the monitor screen right here. And then you have the timeline below where you can do all of your editing additions and subtraction of clips you can do all of those right here you have all your tools on the left hand side and on the right hand side or you to use the text speech services you go to record and create on the left hand side and then you come down to create text to speech so once you do that it's going to add the clip right below the timeline right here and then it's going to open an editor panel on the right hand side. on the editor panel you can choose your language you can choose your voice and then you choose your text there are a whole lot of languages here which you can choose from english french and a host of others now we have a whole lot of voice actors which you can choose from so let me choose christopher and there there are some bit of advanced editing that you can do you can choose the default pitch of the voice either to be fast or to be a little bit slower right here in this box in the text box you can put in your text so in order to do this i'm going to copy a particular text from my website so i'm going to copy this text this is from an article I wrote about the psychology of saving. And then I'm going to paste it inside of the text box. The essence of previewing your clip is for you to be able to hear the sample so that you can still make the necessary adjustment. You can still change the voice, you can still change the pitch, even at that. So let me preview this. Money has captivated humanity for centuries, providing the means to obtain basic necessities and desired luxuries. Money represents value. It empowers us to exchange our time and effort for goods and services. Our relationship with money goes beyond its tangible properties. There is also a psychological component. The way we think about money greatly impacts our financial behavior and wealth accumulation. Numerous studies reveal the psychology behind how people manage their finances. For example, a Schwab Modern Wealth Index survey found that 68% of Americans considered themselves spenders rather than savers. Additionally, 59% admitted their spending sometimes feels out of control. This tendency for impulsive spending over prudent saving contributes heavily to consumer debt. 
All right, so we can see it. You can still edit it right here. You can change the voice at all. You can change the pitch. But just because I think I like what I have right here, you um going to save it directly. So once you save it, it's going to be added to your timeline. So it's added to my timeline already. So one difference between this platform and conventional text-to-speech platform is the fact that since this is a video editor, we'll need a video clip with which you export. And to do that, I'm going to come down right here. I'm going to come down to my content library. And then I'll come to videos. So I'm just going to select the clip which I'm going to add onto this timeline. So the clip is added to my timeline. If you're somebody who creates faceless YouTube videos, you can basically use this video editor to join your either text to speech or your own particular voiceover. You can use it to join together with your clips. It's very fantastic. Once you're done and you like every other thing, you can just come to this export. Let's look at the export options that we have. You have the option to export in 480p, 720p, and those like we said, in high definition 1080p. Exporting in 4K is restricted to the premium version, but the high quality 1080p is still all right. So once we click on that, it's going to begin to render our video. And one very good thing about this platform also is the fact that you can export directly to TikTok or youtube you can upload directly to youtube likewise it's going to take some few minutes to render my video and then i'll be able to save it on my device my video is rendered right now and i can just click this save button and this video would be safe if you need this clip as an mp3 format you can definitely convert the mp4 into an mp3 format thanks for watching this video to this point subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next video